How's it going guys, Ultra Scythe here, and in today's video, I have a little special something that was added to Phantom Forces um, for like all the content creators in the content creators program uh, for Phantom Forces or Stylus Studios. So yeah, that would be the Scythe skin. You can actually find it in the content creators case if you go to case inventory or just all buy cases. I think I've already used up all of mine. And we have the content creators case up here. And for some reason, they made my skin. Uh, very rare, which means it's ex it's too hard to get. I only got it, my skin on one gun. And that's my Remington 700, which is like the sniper I'm using the most at the moment. So I'm super happy about getting it on R700. I also want to get the other one. It's kind of like uh, this is just my like regular face logo, and this is kind of like a uh, a graffiti art. Like the background of it is a brick wall, which I really like. So it's super dope. But yeah, I'm rocking on a Remington 700, and the cool thing about this one is uh, when you change the brick color, it like changes the actual like outline of my character too, I like the logo. Mar put in a lot of work for this. He literally, he made it like the logo back into like a PNG, edited it a little bit. I, I really appreciate it, Mar for doing all this, like the, they are literally the G. So thank you so much, Mar, and bang, woo, it's green. Because green is actually my favorite color. Yellow is more of like my channel color. Green is my actual favorite color. But yeah, let's go rock it, rocking it with some green. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I don't think I've used it yet with the little green thing, but I saw you could change it to the brick color to green and it like makes it look so dope. I wonder what the graffiti one would look like. Uh, change the green but I would like to get it eventually on it but I'll have to like go through and buy a little bit more cases I might actually make that into a video because um, you can get like you can request uh, credits and stuff from Stylus Studio so I might request them and so buy out like all the content creator cases with that when I initially thought about like what I would do for a skin I kind of just wanted something that would be like in the pattern case but I don't think uh, Stylus is really going for that. They want something with like branding for each of the content creators. Some of them came out like really, really insane. Like they just like the patterns on it, whatever they like Mar came up with. Oh my God, like some of them, they look really nice. Thunder has a really nice one. There's another one's like red, white, and black. That one came out really good. But yeah, a little pop off game here with the new Scythe skin on R700. Uh, let's go. But they are kind of abusing the vote kick system, not gonna lie. Wait, no, he's not even abusing it. He tried to vote kick me and then it <laughs> and it, it automatically vote kicks him. Like it like bounces back. It, it's like a mirror vote kick when you try to vote kick me because I have uh, anti vote kick or whatever. Oh, and this dude, he's actually hacking. <laughs> What what is this? <laughs> Why are they trying to vote kick me out of the server? <laughs> but there's actually a hacker. <laughs> Literally, what? What in Phantom Forces? Why why do people come to this? Like he's just vibing up here. Oh, that was like a perfect nade. It like blew up right in my face. Bro, oh, multi. Let's get it. And I'm dead now because I'm bad. Oh no. I didn't really play much of this double XP week on Phantom Forces. I think it ends tomorrow or like the day after that, something like that. But like, I didn't play a lot of it. And now I kind of regret it because I could have, like, I probably could have ranked up like twice if I actually grinded out Phantom Forces. But I really wasn't even grinding Fortnite or really anything. I wasn't uh, super into it. Also, if you only really watch my videos and don't tune in for the streams, I did get like a new sort of lighting setup. So back, we got a little purpley light. I can change the color. Maybe you guys can request some colors. I, I think purple looks the best. It's like a background light other than white. And I also got a new light for like lighting me. And yeah, I think it looks really nice. It's probably my best lighting I've ever done, but I, I might change it up even more. We'll see. Cause I think I, I remember a long time ago when I did a green screen, it was, I did some awful lighting. <laughs> I mean, it was good at the time. It worked too. Like it didn't even look bad. I had like three, um, those like garden lights or whatever that are like meant to put like those heating bulbs in. I don't know, but they focus light and oh my God, I, it worked my for my green screen and my green screen was like lit uh, pretty well. It was like not perfect, but pretty well. And then I took some of those over to here and tried using uh, one and two of those for just lighting me. But now that I have this, it's lighting actually looks really good now. 
I don't have to like open my blinds during the day to actually like get good lighting. Also, I may I started playing Rogue Company uh, recently with one of my friends. And bro, I actually have a ton of fun on that game. I think I might start like making a few videos on it. I think like Doctor Disrespect has played it a bit. He has like his own map and stuff. But, like I actually like that game is really fun. I don't know. I like some of the modes on it, like some of the more like competitive ones, the like search and destroy type modes. I like those quite a bit. And all around, I kind of just want to like take the time to improve a lot of like the quality of the stuff on my channel and like turn it into something I would like like if I was somebody I'd be like oh he definitely deserves a sub when I go in because I've been like sort of since I used to just sub to like everybody randomly I just had like a ton of people in my sub box that I just wanted to get rid of because I always felt obligated to watch a lot of their stuff so I've been like going through and like okay this channel is really just a waste of my time I need to get it out of here and uh, so I really want to like just like meet my standards and go like way beyond that and like the quality and like I just want to like have the quality of the people who I'm like I click on every single one of their videos as soon as I see it's live. Dude the dude who's flying still hasn't been vo kicked. Wait is this him? Is the computer dude? That's the one? I gotta press yes I think that's him. Okay, hey, we finally kicked an actual hacker out of the server. <laughs> Bro, people just they vo kick on other people because they killed them, but they won't vo kick a hacker. <laughs> I don't know. What's this dude doing over here? He's trying to get down, <laughs> and he couldn't and he didn't even kill anybody. That's like a play I would make. That was kind of pathetic, not gonna lie. <laughs> wow, I just totally wall banged him. I thought I saw someone there like in the corner of my eye and I shot the freaking wall and he was right there. His head was literally in my crosshair. I'm gonna get called out for hacking him. <gasps> what the? Where'd you come from, bro? <gasps> oh my God, he scared me. I thought my teammates were the only ones back there. Wait, what? Oh my God. Is a dude gonna come out this window? Yep. How much drop does the deagle have? Oh my. Alrighty guys, I think I'm gonna end up getting off about now, but I hope you guys have enjoyed. Hopefully this video didn't go wrong in any way. I just, I'm doing new stuff like face cam recordings. I sort of changed up the way I did it. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm out. Pasadios, my dudes.